All right, this has been a crazy week with some unbelievable finds. Stay tuned. We'll talk about them right now. All right, everybody, before we get into the finds, let's talk about the beach. I just came back from the beach a few hours ago. We had some 60-mile-an-hour winds at the beach last night. Uh, it came up the coast. I know a lot of y'all on the east coast all in Florida. It came right through Florida, up the east coast. Flooded everywhere. Lots of wind. Lots of rain. I said, I got to go check. Anytime you have a storm, you got to at least check to see if it's opened up. Sometimes you go down and you'll have cuts in the sand five feet deep. That was not the case on this high wind. I went down there and it um, did not make any cuts. Actually, the sand was somewhat soft walking on. I think it either pulled sand down or pushed sand up. I'm not sure which one. But it was not what I was expecting for sure. I actually checked several places along the beach and it was all the same. No cuts. I couldn't believe it. But we had six to ten foot waves. I'm put some pictures and video up there while I'm telling you about it. Unbelievable. It's the best waves I think I've ever seen for surfing at Virginia Beach. Crazy waves. I did a little live. I don't know if y'all saw it, but I did do a little live thing while I was down there. But these, these pictures are different than that live. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff down there. It was just a treasure just being down there to watch uh, the surfers, the waves. I wouldn't, I'm a surfer from way back, but I would not go out there in, in 10 foot waves. I'm not that good a surfer for sure. But pretty cool. It was pretty awesome just seeing it down there. All right, let's get into the finds. Before I get into it, I want to talk about two things. One, y'all know I've been hunting a 1600s property. Now, I keep saying I'm going back to 1600s property, blah, blah. Then I call the second one a 1700s property. Let me clarify just a little bit. The first one was actually granted by the King of England in the early 1600s. Uh, the second property, I, I hadn't really researched it a lot, but it uh, had a uh, 1700s house. I've been calling it 1700s, but... When I did a little research, it actually was granted in the mid-1600s by the King of England. And from what we're finding, we found 1,600 coins. It's basically a 1,600s property. So, in the future, the first one I'll talk about is 1,600s A and 1,600s B. And B has been crazy. Oh my gosh, we have been finding so much stuff. Unbelievable. I'll start off with this picture right here of a, a coin Buddy found the other day. Uh, 1694. It's a William and Mary coin. And the next day I found one. I'll put that picture up there. Not as clear as Buddy, but you can see the two faces on it. So you know it's one of the, one of the uh, William and Mary coins. Uh, and we, I, I found, I think, uh, three other coppers. I'll show a picture of uh, my sheet there that shows. I'm actually giving everything to the owner. And I got a little thing with all the coppers in it right there unbelievable um buckles crazy amount of uh old speckle buckles crazy ornate buckles i'll put a picture i just put my little thing there so I'm a, that i'm gonna put it in a book uh uh buttons all kind of buttons you know back in the early days they had losing buttons like crazy it's crazy a lot of them are pewter was your 1700s um ornament horse ornaments you know for the leather some of them might be really old too i know i got at least three of those um just crazy, crazy finds. And I know there's some pits. Where the 1700s house is, is one side. This is in a whole nother field. We've been getting the 1600s house. So I think the first field is, uh, and people didn't think about it probably, but it's where the 1600s uh, was inhabited. And then the, they later built the 1700s house is what I'm thinking. And, and when we're doing the digging, we're finding uh, pipe stems, piece of pipe bowl, uh, some glass, so I know there's some pits in there, and we're going to be searching for those pits. Actually, me and Buddy are going in tomorrow to kind of search for the pits, um, and hopefully we'll be able to get our hands on one of those, and we'll be able to mark it off and dig it out, most likely. So that's going to be awesome when we get to do that. Unbelievable. I'm just stoked on this property. 1600s B of what we're finding and what we could potentially find. This is a property I think I told you all before that it was... Uh, Mel detected the death by the, the owner told me that by some caretakers they were mel detectors but they didn't get it all that's for sure you all see all the stuff we're finding so they must not have had good machines or uh they didn't know what they're doing because we are we are getting some great stuff they got the maybe they got the 
main, the eight reals are all gone, maybe, but they missed a lot of stuff. And some of that stuff you really have to listen to really close. You'll see on the videos when they come out within two weeks that some of them are really, really light targets you got to dig, and some of them might just get hit one way to dig. But anyway, you will have to really search hard to get them, but it's working. Unbelievable stuff. Um, hey, I, want, uh, I saw online that Extreme Scoops came out with a new scoop. Uh, it's the uh, sand catcher there, and it actually has, I'll put a picture up there, he actually put the little smaller jewelry catcher in the, in the center of it, which is great. I don't know how many of y'all have been out there and find a target, keep pickups gone, gone, gone. Maybe a little round gold ball that'll go through the 3 8 inch, whatever that is. But now it's got the little jewelry catcher in the center. I'll put a link down in the video description to let y'all check it and check it out. Definitely, the scoop I use has that in it. I got the titanium with that in it. It's great because you, you don't miss those little tiny targets. Uh, all kind of little stuff will go through that, you know. And you get a good hit on some of that stuff. So, anyway, check it out. Extreme Scoops. And as you all know, uh, some of these uh, companies send me stuff all the time wanting me to review stuff. And I, I usually don't do it, but I got one I got to show you. It's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, Boots! And it's the cow. It's made by Cow Cow. Let me get the box down here so you can see the box. Uh, there it is right there. Cow Cow. I'll put a link to these down in the video description too. But, uh, and normally, I, like I said, I don't know, but these look pretty good. And they are awesome. I've been wearing them now for a week. Uh, and they are very comfortable. They're warm. Good gripping. And one thing I really like about them is this right here. No, you know, I got something that's got the neoprene like this, but these have a reinforced front right here out of rubber and a reinforced back. So when you're walking through the weeds in the woods or, or briars, it won't cut it or scratch it or anything because you got this protection right here, which I really like right there. That is awesome right there. Anyway, I had to go in and wash them off because they were really dirty because <laughs> I've been using the heck out of them. They're weird. You can't even tell I've had them on. Like I say, they're very comfortable. Very comfortable, they're warm. I love them. Anyway, uh, let me show you a couple videos of me giving them a test. Check this out right here. All right, we're getting ready to hit the field with our new boots. Check it out right here. You know, uh, like I say, I get a lot of offers to try different products. And they send me these boots. We always need boots in the field, right? Cow, cow boots. I really like how they're protected. You got your standard neoprene up here, but look at this. They got this nice... Um, like a, a rubber finish on the front here to protect you. If you're going through a lot of woods with briars and all, this will definitely protect it from getting worn out. And the back also has it on here, like a cushion in here. So they're really protected around this top edge here. It's protected really well. I'm really liking them. I haven't tried them yet. They feel comfortable on my feet. So we're gonna give them a try today, right now. I am really liking these boots. They're very durable. They seem to be uh, very wear resistant with all this extra rubber mounted on them here. So, uh, so far, so good. All right, here we go. All right, we put six miles on these boots today, and they are doing fantastic. I'm all right, that's going to wrap it up for my update this week. I appreciate everybody joining me for my weekly updates. I wish everybody the best of luck in finding treasure and enjoying life. Looks like we probably won't have another update before Christmas, so I now want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, a uh, safe travel in the holidays. Y'all like y'all travel, be very safe. Don't drink and drive. Take care and be safe. All right, well, I appreciate everybody coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment, blow, share, and Merry Christmas. See you on the next adventure.